Okay. I'm just in my bar mitzvah. You'll have to give me. You'll have to give me money. Tell me of your epiphanies. This qualifies as an epiphany, but um, while I was while I was practicing, I started having the feeling that I could consciously, deliberately drive energy down through my legs. And as I was doing that, I thought I could feel the difference between the functions of the legs versus the hands. I know it's all one, but in terms of what we talked about last time of the form and the movement, right? So what I was thinking was, I was thinking about that thing where you come charging, right? And that if the hands can maintain a form and the energy is driving into the legs, then it should be like a pole when the tide is coming in. It should split what's coming in. So easy to say, but that was, that was, um, that's what, that's what came to me as I, was, as I was working. And so as I think of the, the movements now, I can really see clearly there's a form and there's the mobility. I was thinking that uh, it might be easier, it might be easier to keep the form if I don't think of this as having to do that kind of stuff, it just has to be a form, like a wall or a pole or something, yeah. right? And that this can do this, but this stays more, I mean, obviously it moves a bit, but the idea is that it creates a form and that the, the trick is to be able to keep the form. First of all, it was a fun thing to do, mm -hmm. right? But I really had the feeling that as this is going down, then this is just very free. Yeah. Whereas opposed to trying to mm -hmm. do all that kind of stuff. Right. <laughs> Sing my bar mitzvah. Can I do my bar mitzvah and cling on? <laughs> Gaelic sounds kind of like Hebrew. Yeah, the yeah, key yeah. then about being able to be like that pole in the mm -hmm. tide. Okay. And, and you've seen this. If the you know, mm -hmm. tide comes in, the pole is just mm -hmm. there. Uh, that it's the downward movement, the downward movement of energy from the point of contact into the ground that creates that function mm -hmm. of the structure. Mm -hmm. The structure itself cannot go out and do anything. As soon as it does that, it creates a wider surface area, more distal pressure, mm -hmm. and loses that connection to the ground. It's that proximal centripetal engagement, mm -hmm. and that softness is essential because as long as this much tension exists, I can still move you around. Mm -hmm. But it's soft enough that I cannot find a, a purchase point. Mm -hmm. but and that's not because you're not connecting, it's because you're connecting with only a single point, mm -hmm. an infinitely small surface area. Mm -hmm. And as soon as that surface area tries to become rigid, the surface area increases and mm -hmm. it disperses your vectors in a way that dis it makes it difficult to connect it to the ground. It gives me something to hold on to laterally. Yeah. So the structure has to be relaxed and fluid. As soon as the structure is no longer fluid, it collapses. Mm -hmm. The structure support is, maintains its, its, its structure by being fluid and by allowing that point of contact to change by allowing this to roll, by allowing the, the point of contact to go closer or farther, the point of centripetal engagement to go closer or farther away. So the needle, we were talking about G and an last week? Yes. Yeah, so G is where the needle gets shorter and mm -hmm. an is where the needle gets longer. Mm -hmm. And pang and lu is the needle being the needle and pang is the needle being the needle and lu is the needle not being anything else mm -hmm. except the needle. So the, the connection is only going into the earth mm -hmm. and it's not, you're not engaging anything laterally. Mm -hmm. So that's Peng and Liu. And G is when you allow the point of contact to go up, 
and to go and engage, mm -hmm. but you don't have to collapse. Mm -hmm. So it's important to know the difference between G and collapsing. Right. So G means the needle gets shorter, it, the surface area changes, and it ends up here or here or here. Mm -hmm. And an is when the surface area, or the, 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 the centripetal point of engagement expands outwards mm -hmm. and goes to there. So that's Pang Lu Jian An. But it has to be mobile. Mm -hmm. As soon as you stay, as soon as you get stuck, mm -hmm. as soon as you are still, then you lose that centripetal point mm -hmm. and you become a wide dispersed surface area that's very easy to get. Dispersible. Yeah. yeah. So the idea is that I'm pushing with a surface area mm -hmm. and you are engaging centripetally that surface area into the ground. Mm -hmm. So you're the, you're the needle, I'm the broad side of the barn. Right. And I'm essentially trying to hit a bullet with the broad side of a barn. Mm -hmm. So I, I go like this and there, mm -hmm. you're there. And I and there, see, that, that's it. This is why uh, when people issue power, explosive power, the it's often seen as sudden, and often seen as mysterious, because the person who's being thrown doesn't know what happened, because they were attacking with a surface area, and the other person was engaging with a point, right. and that point does not allow for any proprioception. You mm -hmm. can't feel what's going on. Right. And it's boom like that. So, so the thing, you know, what is it that moves you, right? So there I'm holding the rigid a little bit. But, you know. mm -hmm. So there, yeah. Li yeah. Ashran was neat. Li Ashran was as a, one of Yang Chengfu's, Yang Chengfu's uh, oldest students mm -hmm. and uh, one of my teacher's teachers. And Li Ashran was, from what I've heard, a little more like a Bruce Lee kind of fight than a, than a, you know, doesn't like to spend a lot of time dancing around, pushing and sticking. He just went wham, mm -hmm. and he was there, mm -hmm. and that. So, uh, but he could do the other stuff. Mm -hmm. But he just chose to finish it mm -hmm. right away. You know, start by winning. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, other people w would like to, you know, play this. There you go bounce the person around and just swat them like this until yeah, you, you threw them. But Li Shan was just boom, like that. And, uh, and there I'm doing that with my upper body. I'm not doing it totally with my arms, mm -hmm. some arm in there. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, when I, when I do practice like this, I don't, I don't do that with the legs. I, I, uh, so, so that, you know, that was just from the legs. But I don't wanna, you know, you break your training partner, you don't get another one. <laughs> So, so there, see that tension? There you go. So I'm, I'm the teacher, so I should do it wrong. Right, okay. Okay, so you, you are the student, so, well, sometimes. <laughs> so there we go. Oh. See how you're, that, that's right. all, yeah. just right. you're, you're trapping yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just let it flow. There, tension. Don't, don't go, okay. when, there's t when there's tension, don't go away. Yeah. Don't flee the tension, transform the tension. So if, if there's a tiny bit of tension, you don't go away from it, you don't yield, you don't attack, you don't resist. You transform the structure itself so that, change the gears a little, mm, yeah, you're trying to do stuff still. Find that point. Find that, there you go. Yeah. There, you've changed it. Uh -huh. Now, once you find the correct point to push with, then the correct point to engage with, then I'm automatically connected to the ground. Yeah, so you don't have to do anything. Once you find that point, there's no doing. It's just, no, no, okay. there, there, almost, no, 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 no. There you go. Bingo. Okay, I can uh, feel that. I can feel that. Yeah, once you find that centripetal engagement, the fight was over already. It's done already. So as long as there's this tension, there's a fight and there's a conflict. As soon as you find that engagement, everything that I have done up until this point was mm -hmm. basically punching myself in the face. Right. But until you get that point, I'm still, punch, I'm still winning, it's still a fight. But you find that point, you're still hanging, I'm still, see how I'm still hanging on you? And you're, there you go. Right. Right. But you don't have to change so much. 
right? You don't have to change the external shape. You just have to change where your mind is. Then all of a sudden it changes. That's why this works as a martial art, because you are not, it's not a technique. It's not, none of that. It's creating a structure where when you get your mind there, it's already over. Okay. If, if it were something that you had to do, if it were some kind of magical energy you had to move, mm -hmm. uh, it, it wouldn't work. Okay. It's about redefining your awareness of the nature of the relationship. Once you redefine the, that awareness, it changes. Mm -hmm. The same thing applies in all relationships. Mm -hmm. One, the relationship exists in a particular way because one or both people see it that way. Mm -hmm. Once a person changes their, in their mind what the definition of the relationship is, the relationship changes. Mm -hmm. So, and when a relationship is a confrontational one, like between an attacker and a defender, mm -hmm. then when the defender changes the nature of that relationship, there is no enemy. Right. So that's why we say, that's why Oshiba said that, you know, there is no enemy. I am one with the universe, and the opponent defeats themselves by the nature of the attack. Mm -hmm. right? There are people who are manipulative and uh, you know, devious, passive aggressive, and so, and and if you can learn how to engage that properly, then all of that stuff just bounces off you, and they just look like idiots mm -hmm. when they're trying to control and manipulate you. But if you're not careful, you'll end up buying a car that you don't need. Uh -huh.